मुक्यान तिमीरांधस ज्ञानांजन शलाकया चक्षुण मिलत यन तस्म श्रीगुरव नम नमो ओम विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्तिवेदस्वामीतनाम नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चातेशणे निनंदमहम नौमी सर्वानंदक परम हरिनामदम देव अवदूता शिरोमणि आनंदलीलामय विग्रहाय हेमा दिव्य छविसुंदराय तस्म महाप्रेमरसा प्रदाय चैतन्यचंद्राय नमो नमस्ते तप्तकांचन गौरांगी श्रीराधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरिप्रिय हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांत श्रीराधा कांत नमस्तुते वाचा कल्पतरूभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैतगताधर श्रीवासादिगौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे बिफोर आई बिगिन आई विश टू कीप माई हेड एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ ऑल द वैष्णवास एंड विश टू सीक दर गुड विशेष एंड ब्लेसिंग्स every day krishna he had only one business when he was child baby <coughs> not baby when he little grown up every day they used to go to forest and they used to play there was no headache of going and earning somewhere like we have i was thinking today i have to go back and i had to go get in my seva uh, service again which is service but it's managerial service <coughs> so here krishna every day used to go with his friends and used to play so and each and every day there used to be different different past times of killing different kinds of demons so one day krishna he decided to have breakfast in the forest picnic <coughs> so he woke up early in the morning and with his bugle he called out everyone and when they heard krishna's bugle already the cowherd boys they are so eager that it was difficult for them to pass the night because there is so much in separation that sometimes in the night itself they used to come and say oh mother yashoda why are why are we so late today she is saying look at your time Hmm. it is not a time to go to the forest so the coward boys were so excited and they were there in separation and they always wanted to be with krishna <clears throat> so here krishna they heard krishna's bugle early in the morning and they all started coming out tenai va sakam prithuka sahasrasha snigdha sushiga vetra vishana venavah swana swana sahastra parisanghayan vitan वस्तान पुरस्कृत विनिर्योर मुदा एट दैट टाइम एन कृष्ण कॉल एट दैट टाइम हंड्रेड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स एंड लैक्स ऑफ कावड़ बॉयज केम आउट फ्रॉम दर हाउसेस विथ सो मेनी ग्रुप्स ऑफ काफ्स विद दम थाउजेंड्स ऑफ काफ्स विद दम सो इन दिस वे सच अ ग्रुप सच इनमेरेबल कावड़ बॉयज एंड इनमेरेबल काफ्स दे केम ऑन on the calling of krishna <clears throat> so along with the uh, so when this boys came out as as we know uh, especially the the uh, mother and father they will know when we have to send our children to school we have to give them the books we have to give them the lunch bag uh, so here all the mothers of the kahod boys they used to give them their lunch bags their bugles their flutes and their sticks they have to carry everything their tiffin box and everything <clears throat> and in this way they used to gather and they used to walk towards the forest vishwanath chakravarti thakur is saying sahasra pari sankhya krishna had a sankhya kavs a parardha parardha is one 
with 17 zeros is one paradha. Hmm? Now, paradha into paradha into paradha into paradha, it is four times multiply, that is asankhya and that is Krishna's cows, <laughs> Krishna's calves. Hmm? <clears throat> that is one and 68 zeros. Hmm? So, it is beyond the imagination. One might question, how is it possible that such a large number of calves can fit into a 32 square miles of Vrindavan? Hmm? One might question. Hmm? But we have to understand that Krishna's dham is unlimited. It is inconceivable. Hmm? It is not ordinary, not mundane. It is beyond uh, our conception. It is alokic, a prakrut. Hmm? It is said that a small place in the dham hmm, can accommodate billions of universe measuring 50 million miles in diameter. Hmm? This is the capacity of the dham, inconceivable power of the dham. Hmm? Sanatan Goswami in the Brahat Bhagavatam Amrita says, Evam Prabho Priyanam cha dham, <coughs> dhamnas cha sama, samayasya cha avichintaya prabhavatvad atra kinchana na durgatan. <clears throat> Everything about Krishna is unlimited, alokic, hmm? not nothing. There is nothing mundane about Krishna, his devotees, his abode. Everything is transcendental. <clears throat> and now these boys, when they used to go uh, to the forest, their mothers already have decorated them very nicely with gunja, with pearls and gold. But as soon as they used to enter the forest. Hmm, they used to decorate themselves with fruits, with green leaves, bunch of flowers, peacock feathers mm, and, and very soft minerals. Mm. We see in Vrindavan Krishna Balram, sometimes with the dress of peacock feather, sometimes with full of leaves, mm, green leaves. Mm. Uh, sometimes we have Krishna Balram wearing mm, the fruit, the garland made of fruits. So in this way, uh, they used to decorate Krishna also and they used to decorate themselves also. Hmm? And they used, when they used to decorate Krishna, they used to get more pleasure. And they used to have various kinds of uh, uh, ways to decorate Krishna. This is duty worship. Hmm? Here, here we have to practice by doing the same thing. What the, the cowherd boys are doing in the spiritual world in the uh, Vrindavan Leela. We are, when we are serving the Lord, we are actually practicing that. So, when we are doing every day, when we are doing this service, we, we develop a relationship towards the Lord and we get attached and, and that same service which we are doing here with this, our, with this body we are serving Radha Madan Mohan, that same seva will continue in, in the eternal uh, Leela of the Lord. Krishna will allow you to continue your service. So, when we, once we leave our body, we will be transferred in a transfer in a place where we will continue our seva. <coughs> All the coward boys, they used to play by stealing each other's lunch boxes. <coughs> they used to steal one lunch box and they used to throw it to another. And the another boy used to throw it to another. And the proprietor of the lunch box, he used to run catching his lunch, catching his lunch box from one friend to another. But his lunch box used to pass to so many other places. And then the proprietor of this lunch box used to cry. And everybody used to laugh. And then the lunch box was returned to him. Sometimes this was done even with Krishna. It was not that Krishna is a supreme lord. No. In Vrindavan, Krishna is not the Supreme Lord. In Vrindavan, Krishna is the son of Nanda Maharaj, son of Mother Yashoda. So, <clears throat> once they were, they were playing and there was always a uh, competition amongst the friends, they friendly, friendly match. There was one Balram's team, one Krishna's team and they used to play. And which year a team loses, they have to, the losing Losing team, they has to carry the victorious team on their back as a horse. So once Krishna's team lost and everybody said, Krishna, you have to become a horse and you have to carry Sridham. 
<coughs> Krishna said, no way, I am not do, I'm not going to do that. Hmm? Don't you know I am the son of Nanda Maharaj, hmm? the king of Raja? Hmm? And then they, ha- then they had a discussion and they said, Krishna has got puffed up, we should remove him from the play. And so they removed him from the play. And then Krishna said, ha, ah, you removed me. Hmm? And he started crying. And he said, oh, I am removed from the play. And he went and hid himself in a tree and started crying loudly, loudly, loudly. Hmm? And then the coward boys said, he, they fell pity on Krishna and they said, will you again say that? Hmm? That you are the son of Nanda Maharaj? When we are playing, we are all same, you know. Hmm? <coughs> then said, I will never do that again. Hmm? Please, please accept me. So then they brought Krishna and they, Krishna had to become the horse. So they used to do this thing, they, they, they used to do these things with Krishna also. Hmm? Three is lunch box everywhere. Hmm? <laughs> that was the fun. And Krishna wanted that Krishna is to get pleasure by this. <clears throat> so sometimes one boy so one boy will steal the lunch box of someone hmm, and go and hide it in the bushes. And especially where there are red ants. Hmm? <laughs> so, so that was the fun they used to do. Hmm? So this kinds of playing, the stealing of <coughs> the stealing of uh, uh, play, stealing of the food and the playing of the such boys, this this is present in the material world also. Hmm? In our school days, we used to do that the same thing. Hmm? We did that in our school days. Hmm? So, because such kinds of sporting pleasure is present in the spiritual world, hmm, from which the idea of enjoyment is coming, so it is there here also. But here, hmm, here it is jada and there it is eternal. Hmm? It is an eternal, it is an eternal past tense of the Lord. <coughs> it is going on eternally. Yadi duram gata krishna vanaksho bhekshanayatam aham purvam aham purvam iti sansprushare mire. Sometimes <coughs> Krishna used to go seeing the beauty of the forest. And the boys all of a sudden should realize where is Krishna? He's gone. So there was, there was a competition. They used to run, everybody used to run to catch Krishna. I will catch Krishna first, I will catch Krishna first. And so they have to run to catch Krishna. Hmm? But Krishna is also omnipotent personality. He also used to manifest himself into so many ways. And everybody used to go and hug Krishna. Hmm? Everybody used to go and touch Krishna and they used to feel, I am the first, I am the first, I am the first. But Krishna actually was hmm, giving this pleasure to everyone. So, there were different kinds of sports they used to play hmm, in, in this Vrindavan forest. Hmm. Some of the boys used to play flutes. Some of the boys used to, Hare Krishna. Some of the boys used to play flutes. Some of the boys used to play their bugles. Hmm. And some of the boys, they used to make the buzzing sound of the bumblebees. Hmm? When the bumblebees used to make the sound, they, used to use, they, they also used to imitate them. Hmm? <coughs> and some of them used to sit down like ducks. They used to imitate the ducks. They used to swim like the ducks. They used to go in the water. So they also used to go in the water along with them. And when they used to do like this, dip their pick in the water. They also, also they used to, the coward boys used to pick their nose in the water. So in this way they used to imitate <coughs> and some of them imitated the dance of the peacocks and then some of them used to see the tail of the baby monkey hanging on a tree and they used to catch that tail of that monkey and they used to climb the tree hmm? and then the monkeys used to run from one branch to another. All there was an there was a big havoc in the uh, monkey's family that who is doing this? So the coward boys also used to climb from one tree to another, jump, jump with the monkeys. Hmm? So this is how they used to imitate the various animals. <coughs> Some of them when they used to go to the waterfalls, they used to uh, imitate the frogs and they used to jump like frog. Hmm? And when they used to jump like frog and see themselves in the water, and they used to laugh. 
<laughs> so they, this this there was some kind of an amazement that uh, they used to they used to feel looking themselves in the as if looking themselves in a mirror. <clears throat> then they used to always scream and always used to shout. Hmm? So so many places in 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 Brajman, in uh, there were there were places where they used to hear the echoes, and they used to hear their own sound. But they were not able to figure out that it is the echo which is coming out. So they used to say, Are, who is that? And the sound used to come, Are, who is that? And then, <coughs> then, the cow, then the coward boy used to say, What is this nonsense? And the voice used to come, What is this nonsense? Then they used to curse, Today you will die! And the voice used to come, Today you will die! And they said, Ah! I am going to die. Rascal! So like this, they used to scream and they used to enjoy. And they never used to figure out what is going on. Itham satam brahma sukhanu bhutya Dasyam gatanam paradevatena Maya shritanam naradarakena Sakam vijrahu krita punya punja In this way, these boys were playing with Krishna. And who is this Krishna? Hmm? This Krishna is the source of Brahman effulgence for the Jnanis. Hmm? This Krishna uh, is the supreme personality of Godhead for the devotees who accepted ser uh, eternal servitorship. Hmm? And this Krishna, for some people, it is he just an ordinary boy. Hmm? <coughs> so, these coward boys were so fortunate that they are getting opportunity to be with Krishna, to hug him, to touch him, to play with him. So, how can we explain their great fortune of this coward boys? Yogis, they undergo so many severe austerities for births after births, for ages, for ages they perform uh, these activities and they tried with their so many uh, practicing yama, niyama, asana, prana, pranayama and none of them are very easy. It's very difficult and they try to control their mind. So after so many births, they, they are able to control their mind. So they are able to control their mind. But still with that mind, hmm, it is difficult for them to, to catch the lotus feet of the Supreme Personality, Lord Sri Krishna. Hmm. They cannot capture Krishna in their mind. Hmm. Actually, Krishna appears in the mind by his sweet will. It is not one, no one can catch Krishna. Hmm? Krishna appeared in the minds of Vasudeva. Hmm? So similarly, Krishna appears in the uh, minds of the devotees if they are sincerely trying to serve him and trying to want to understand him. They sincerely want to love him and Krishna appears in the mind of the devotees. <coughs> <coughs> So what then, so how can we describe the fortune of this, this, this coward boys who are always with Krishna? This is what Shukadeva Goswami is trying to make a point, that Krishna is not so easily available. So this, this is great fortune of this uh, devotees. <coughs> Srila Prabhupada writes that the advantage of Krishna consciousness is described here. Hmm? Krishna consciousness, when you are practicing Krishna consciousness, gradually will be promoted to that platform which the cowherd boys have attained. Hmm? This Krishna consciousness which you are practicing by chanting the holy name of the Lord, by hearing about the past names of the Lord. What, will this, what is the end result of this? The end result of this is that we will be promoted hmm? and we will become an associate of the Lord. Hmm? This is the end result of Krishna consciousness. Hmm? <coughs> and one may think Krishna as a supreme personality. One may think Krishna as his supreme master. One may think Krishna as a supreme friend. One may think Krishna as a uh, as a supreme son. Or one may think Krishna as a supreme conjugal lover. If one is connected with Krishna in any of these relationships, hmm, then it is understood that his business in this material world is ended. Hmm, is ended. It is confirmed in Bhagavad Gita 4.9. What it says? Tyaktva deham punara janma naiti maamiti suarjuna. In Bhagavad Gita at 24 places, Lord Krishna states 
that when one devotee comes to my abode, he never has to go back. He never has to go back. <clears throat> Shukdeva Goswami also confirms this in a statement. He says that Tasam Viratam Krishna Kurvan Tinam Sutekshanam Na Punah Na Punah Kalpate Rajan Sansara Agyana Sambhava. Shukdeva Goswami guarantees that when a devotee constantly of Krishna in a particular kind of relationship, hmm? it is confirmed. Take it from me. I, I assure you that such personality is not not punha kalpate rajan. Hmm? Sansara agyana sambhava. They won't see samsara again. They won't come again to this material world. Hmm? So, <clears throat> this what is samsara? Hmm? <clears throat> We think that this is, we think our relationship here, hmm, this is my son, this is my daughter, this is my husband, this is my wife, hmm, this is my, 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 everything is my, my, my. Hmm. <coughs> These relationships are temporary illusions. Agyana Sambhava. Hmm. Such, such awakens when a person is in ignorance. But when this rela same relationship is with Krishna, hmm, then one is guaranteed to attain the abode of the Lord. Hmm? One will only we have to. We, we are not saying that we should hate our children. We should hate our husband and wives. No, hmm? but we should have some relationship with Krishna also, hmm? and then everything will be perfect. When when Brahma Ji will be stealing the uh, stealing the calves at that time, Krishna expanded himself. And he gave opportunity to the uh, associates of the Lord, especially uh, Mother Yash, uh, especially the gopis like Mother Yashoda and uh, Rohini, hmm, and the ca other cows to suck to suck Krishna to uh, to allow Krishna to suck their breast. Krishna drank milk from all of them for one complete year. Hmm. Sukhdev Goswami is telling. Can you imagine the fortune of those people, of those devotees who fed milk to Krishna? Hmm? How is it possible that they bec will become again conditioned soul? There is no way they will be entered in the, in the eternal associate of the. They'll become the eternal associate of the Lord in Golok Vrindavan in, the, in their next lives. <coughs> so similarly, when we are serving the Lord, we are chanting the holy name of the Lord. Hmm? We are hearing Bhagavatam ev every day when we are engaged in devotional service every day, then we should keep faith hmm? that yes, I will also get, get that, that seva. I will be also an associate of the Lord. Hmm? When we do Krishna consciousness with faith, it will give good immediate results. Hmm? So, we should, by hearing all these pastimes of deliverance of Putana, of deliverance of Agasura and so many wonderful pastimes, we should keep faith. Hmm? Shukde Goswami has spoken this Srimad Bhagavatam for especially for this people of age of Kali. Hmm? There are pastimes from there are pastimes in the Bhagavatam from so many different millenniums. Hmm? But yes, the conclusion is presented in such a way that the people in this age of Kali are benefited. Hmm? <clears throat> when this playful pastimes of the coward boys was going on at that time. A great demon called as Aghasur, whose death was being awaited even by even that by the demigods, appeared there, hmm? and he was having a look at all this, all this what was happening with Krishna and his <coughs> coward boys. <coughs> and Aghasur was not able to tolerate the happiness which the coward boys and Krishna was enjoying. <coughs> the pleasure, the it was. The coward boys were getting the pleasure and Aghasur was burning. He was, he was burning. So, Aghasur was not an ordinary demon. The demigods who, who used to drink the, the Amrita, even they used to be afraid of Aghasur. Once when one drinks Amrita, they are immortal. But they had no faith in the Amrita and they had faith that this Aghasura demon was so powerful that if he wants, he will kill them. Hmm? Shripad Vallabhacharya says that uh, Agha means 
sins. Hmm? So he was the demons of the sins. Hmm? He, he had committed all kinds of sinful activities. Everything which, which a sinful person has to perform, he did that. Hmm? And, <clears throat> and the result of that was that he was envious of the Lord and his devotees. <clears throat> now one may ask, now Aghasur was uh, in the Aghasur has come in the past times of the Lord, so and he was going to he was going to create an havoc, he is going to disturb the past times. So one might question hmm, uh, how Krishna's pastime could be interrupted by a demon. Hmm? Krishna's pastime, which are eternal, which are transcendental, which are alokic, hmm, which are not mundane, how can it be interrupted by a demon? Hmm? Vishwanath Chakra Thakur says <coughs> that, that the coward boys are always experiencing transcendental pleasure. Mm. And while experiencing the transcendental pleasure in the association of Krishna, they even forget to have the lunch. Mm. So, Yoga Maya has to make an arrangement so that they can have the lunch. Mm. So, Vishwanath Chakra Thakur is saying that by the will of Yoga Maya, Aghasura appeared there. Mm. So, to, to to create some disturbance so that they, uh, Krishna kills the demons mm. and then again uh, when the demon is killed they, they take their lunch and they again perform some different pastimes after the lunch is finished. So this was an everyday activity. Vishnachaka Thakur is saying every day mm. some or the other demon used to come there and they used to interrupt the pastimes of the Lord mm. and every it was an everyday routine. Mm. And just so that Krishna can have their lunch. <coughs> and different different pastimes could take place. <coughs> so, Aghasur was sent by Kamsa. And he was a younger brother of Putna and Bakasur. Younger brother. And when he saw, when he saw the cowherd boys, especially uh, getting so much pleasure, he was thinking that this rascal Krishna has killed my sister Putna and my brother Bakasur. Now I have to do something by which I can, if I kill them, I can offer a pinda to them. I, this, will, this will be the tribute to, to my, to my uh, dead brother and sister. So I have to kill them. First Putna was killed, then Bakasur tried to take revenge by, or revenge by killing Krishna to take some revenge for Putna, but he also sacrificed his life. But now, I am, although I am younger, I have to do something. Hmm? So, Bakasur, uh, so Aghasur he was thinking like this and he took a form of a big python. Hmm? Big python and he laid down himself in, in Vinda, in Brajbhumi. <coughs> He, he assumed such a big, such a big form that his body was expanded to eight miles long. And he was like a huge big mountain. <clears throat> his lower lips was touching the ground and his upper lips was touching the cloud. And he kept his mouth wide open and his tongue was like an, was, he extended his tongue outside and it appeared like an, Yamuna Express Highway. <laughs> Upon seeing this, now everybody, all the Kavada boys, they they saw this, they saw that there is something very unusual there. So everybody went there and they started analyzing that what is this new thing here? We never saw this before. And they started they started discussing amongst themselves. They said that. <clears throat> One of the coward boys said, Dear friend, is this creature dead or is it a living python with, with his wide mouth open and who is planning to swallow us all? Hmm. Vishwanath Chakra Thakur is saying that <clears throat> few boys thought that Aghasur was a snake and so they got afraid and they started running, uh, running away from the Aghasur. Some of the boys and the calves they started running away. Hmm. Then the other boys stopped them. Are you guys okay? Are you guys full? Hmm? Have you ever seen a snake as big as, as big as like this? This cannot be the snake. Hmm? Try to understand. This is Krishna. This is Krishna's arrangement for us. Hmm? He has made a python a he he so that we can play. 
and it is a it is a dummy python. Hmm? It is not an original one. Hmm? Then the other boy started saying, "Are you okay? Do you think this is a dummy python? Hmm? Let's look carefully. I will show you. Hmm? Look. His look at his upper lips, hmm? which which resembles like a cloud reddened by sunshine. Now look at his." Uh, lower lips which resembles like the reddish shadows of a cloud and look at this left and right hmm? don't you look like a mouth of a big snake hmm? and look at the you are calling that as a mountain peak but look carefully it looks like the teeth of the snake huh? teeth, of, teeth of a python and you are calling that as mountain peak hmm? open your eyes and listen and look nicely Hmm? And look at the cave, look at his mouth, it looks like a dark cave. Can, do you still think it is a dummy python? He is waiting for us to swallow, it looks like a hmm? Then some of the boys said, <clears throat> if this creature is really a snake, then he, have, he has come here to swallow us. Hmm? Then other boy said, okay, what if he has come to swallow us? What is he going to do? Hmm? Kshanath Aneti Bakari. Hmm? Look there. Who is standing there? Krishna. Hmm? Just like he has killed so many demons. Just like he killed Bakasur. Huh? Bakari. Hmm? He, Bak he called Bakari because he killed Bakasur. Hmm? Even Krishna is here. Why fear? Hmm? Then watch. And then when, when everybody saw Krishna. As soon as we, when we see Krishna. All kinds of fear disappear. So when they saw Krishna, the fear in the heart which was arise because of having looking at the diagnostic form of the python, it, it diminished. And then, then, then the boys said to each other, when Krishna is here, why not? Let's go inside and check it out. What's there? Because Krishna is here. So, the, so all the boys, they started clapping, clapping, clapping as if expressing their fearlessness and they all entered the mouth of Aghasur. And the, the calves, they raised their tail straight and out of joy that something excite, exciting is going to happen, they all entered the mouth of Aghasur. Hmm? <clears throat> Shripad Vallabhacharya says that the coward boys had such a deep faith in the Lord and that they were having darshan of the Lord, hmm? they are having darshan of the Lord and clapping their hands, they were entering the mouth of Agasur. Hmm? So again and again they are looking at the Lord. So uh, <clears throat> now what was Krishna's situation? Hmm? Krishna, who is situated as Antaryami, the super soul in the hearts of all the scoured boys and every all of us also, he was hearing the conversation between what was happening and then he was thinking to himself and was talking to them in his mind oh my dear friend he is not just a snake he is not just a snake but a demon aghasur hmm? and hearing the boys talk about the snake krishna actually wanted to stop them hmm, from entering the mouth of aghasur but before he could do that they are already were inside they are already inside. <clears throat> One might think that Krishna is desiring something, that Krishna, that Krishna's Satya Sankalpa Shakti, which, is, which fulfills all the desires of Krishna. Now he is desiring something here, that the boys shall not enter and still the boys are entering. How is it possible? So, Vishwana Chakra Thakur is giving an example, that here there are two desires, the desire of Krishna and the desire of the devotees. The desire of the, here the, the desire of the coward boys was that if this Bakasur, if this Aghasur, he swallows us and tries to kill us, then Krishna will come, come and save us. He will kill this demon, if he is a demon. So, <clears throat> Krishna is in the heart, hearts of the devotee and controlled by the devotees. So, devotees, uh, Ichha Shakti was more and the yoga maya fulfilled the desire of uh, the devotees. And so, uh, 
the boils entered the mouth of Agasura. And Krishna, he was thinking, what is happening? He, he waited for a while and he was a little amazed with the whole situation, what was happening. And, and then, he, then he thought that it is not possible that this boys will have some prarabdha karma. It is not possible. Then why is this, this situation in, uh, is happening with them? Then Krishna understood that this is his Leela Shakti which is performing all this transcendental arrangement. <clears throat> and then Krishna was feeling some suppression from his devotees. And, but when he realized that this is an arrangement of Leela Shakti, then his Vismay Bhav, his astonishment was gradually getting over. And, but then he was thinking two things. First thing is <clears throat> that Already my friends are inside the body of Agasur. So if I normally, when I kill the demons, I just slap them or just kick them or do anything and I can kill them. But if I do that to Agasur, then my friends and the calves also will die. So I cannot kill demon Agasur by, by standing outside. And he thought, then Krishna thought, okay, if they, if they die, if the, if the calves die, if the cowherd boys die, I can create the new one. Hmm? But then, original ones are the original ones. Hmm? <laughs> and then, <coughs> uh, then Krishna thought, I cannot kill demon Aghasur and at the same time save my cowherd boys, friends, by staying outside. I have to go inside. I have to go inside. So, Krishna also clapped. Aghasur, I am coming. He started clapping because he, he wanted to imitate his friends. So he, uh, Krishna also started clapping, expressing his fearlessness and Aghasur, I am coming inside you. And Aghasur was waiting for this. Aghasur, he could have swallowed the coward boys and the calves, but he didn't do that. As soon as the calves and the coward boys entered inside, they, they became lifeless, they fell dead, but the bodies were still there. He did not uh, swallow them up completely or, or burn them in the ashes of the fire of his, of his abdomen. No, he didn't do that. Why? Because he was waiting for Krishna. You know, when we cook, when we cook some sabzi, we want that all the sabzi should be put together and then we can mix. It is not that when we are making one sabzi, we, we boil, uh, we cook different, different things and then we put together. No. We put all the vegetables together in one pot and then we cook. So, Aghasur was thinking, let Krishna also come inside and then I will swallow them together and then I will enjoy my, enjoy my lunch. Hmm? Hmm? So, Krishna was, Aghasur was waiting and now hmm, Krishna entered the body of Aghasur. And the demons and the demigods both were watching from the sky. So the demigods they started saying, Alas, ah, oh, Krishna also got swallowed. Now what's going to happen? What's going to happen? So they were sad. And there was a festival on the sides of Aghasur's friends and Kansas associates who were watching that, there was a festival. They said, yes, Aghasur, you did it finally. Oh, yes. Now you can, this will give pleasure to your sister and brother. Very nice, Aghasur, you did it finally. Nobody was able to do it, but you did it. So they were, they were cheering Aghasur. Hmm? And the demigods on the other side were, were, were feeling very sorry. Hmm? Now what is going to happen? Hmm? Who is going to kill Kamsa? They started thinking all kinds of things. Now, who is going to kill Kamsa? And there are so many demons present. What is going to happen? Okay. So, hearing the situation of the... Yes, Krishna was able to understand their hearts. Okay. And then Krishna started expanding himself okay. within, the body, within the throat of Aghasur. Okay. And then Aghasur, seeing some, something unusual is happening inside me, he started expanding himself more. Hmm? And then Krishna expanded himself more. Aghasura is expanding himself more. But there is a limit to Aghasura's expansion. And Krishna's expansion is unlimited. Hmm? So finally Krishna blocked 
his like blocked his breathing and <clears throat> and aghasur he <clears throat> he his breathing stopped he got suffocated and his eyes rolled here and there and popped out in this way the demon's life air he it was not able to pass through any outlet so he passed it bursts is bursted out from the top of uh, from from the top of his demon's head and it came outside and waited <coughs> and it waited the light, the the soul of the aghasur waited outside and all the demigods were seeing and were amazed to see what what's happening exactly what's happening why is aghasur so so waiting he's he's died but why is his soul waiting <coughs> so vishwanath chakra thakur says that uh in this past times when krishna used to kill shakatasur when the krishna used to kill tranavart and so many other uh demons many of the times used to happen that his uh coward friends or his father mother used to always be around especially the mothers used to always be around so krishna used to keep himself as a baby boy Hmm? as a, as as an ordinary child he never used to expand himself or do any unusual things he just used to kill the demons out of as if a play hmm? Hmm? A, a, when children's play hmm? so a, it krishna showed them it was a child's play of killing demons so their mood was not disturbed always hmm? but here there were no parents calves and the coward boys were lifeless so then krishna expanded himself to show this to demigods that i can even expand myself hmm? i can expand myself <coughs> and so krishna adopted this very uh, uncommon hmm, thing in his past times hmm? <coughs> so from the body of this Uh, uh so from the body of this demon the soul was waiting throughout and as soon as krishna came outside it merged into krishna yeah. it merged into krishna sirus so sirus uh, shripad sidra swami says that the effulgence coming out from the python's body became purified and attained the status of shuddha sattva yeah. he was actually liberated the soul was his spiritual spiritual soul his own form Hmm? spiritual form of aghasur not a not a uh, demonic nature <clears throat> a demons getting liberated is displayed here to instill faith in people why did krishna allowed that the soul should stay outside so that people and demigods especially everybody should see that how krishna delivers a demon hmm? a person who comes to kill him krishna is delivering them so that we as devotees when we are performing practice in krishna consciousness we should we should know that if krishna is delivering the demons then certainly krishna will award us hmm, his his uh, award us or give us a gift of becoming his associate of the lord at the end of our lives hmm. so we should not be hopeless we should be hopeful in krishna consciousness hmm. we should keep faith in this process <coughs> Uh, Sanadan Goswami says in Vaishnava Toshani that Krishna arranged that the this is Sanadan Goswami's op, uh, opinion that how uh, what I explained. <clears throat> Why did Aghasur? It was supposed to attain Sayuja Mukti, hmm? a demon. He was supposed to enter into the body of Krishna and he was supposed to enter into the Brahma Brahman effulgence or so, get Sayuja Mukti. But here. krishna gave him the form of an associate of the lord of vaikuntha hmm? demon aghasur had a four handed form hmm? and he, he went to vaikuntha so why was it this why was this possible the destination with jay and vijay got hmm? that same destination krishna gave to aghasur <coughs> and uh and when all this thing we'll discuss that further in, uh, how why was it <clears throat> and when all these things was happening the demigod started celebrating when when the, de- the demon agasur was killed and his soul entered the body of krishna then there was a celebration 
all the demigods and all the people in Janaloka, Maharloka, Tapaloka, everybody started celebrating. The celebration was such huge and uh, they were playing various instruments and the noise went to Brahmaloka. Hmm? Brahma's uh, to the house of Brahma and Brahma said, what's happening? Hmm? What's happening? Hmm? Let me go and see. So Brahma came down to see what's happening. Which festival is going on? I am not been invited. Hmm? What's happening? Hmm? So when he went there and he was, while he was passing through, he saw that in each and every loka they were celebrating the death of Aghasur and victory of Krishna. They were singing, they were dancing, they were celebrating. Hmm? We see this mood in India when India defeats Pakistan in a cricket match. There is entire country whether he is a devotee or he is not a devotee, but they, they celebrate. I have seen devotees celebrating also. <laughs> they celebrate. Everybody celebrates. Because India defeated Pakistan in a cricket match. So that you can, I am telling this example, this is a mundane example, but we have to get, uh, to, we can relate to it. Everybody was celebrating. And Brahma, he saw Aghasur's soul going to Vaikuntha. The first thing was seeing everybody was celebrating uh, glories of Krishna and killing of demon Aghasur. And the second thing was he saw was that the soul of Aghasur was going to Vaikuntha. Hmm? Now Brahma was saying, oh, isn't this something unusual? Hmm? Hmm? <coughs> then <coughs> gradually, the, the dead body of Aghasur dried up hmm? and it became a place for the cowherd boys hmm, to play. Hmm? It, became, it became like a cave for them. Hmm? So, Vishwat Sripad Vallabhacharya says that the dried up body of Aghasur was, was not having bad odor. Hmm? Normally, when a person dies and when his body is just lying like that, then it will emanate some kind of a bad odor, right? But it was not the situation with Aghasur. Hmm? So, it was easily a playground for all, this, for all the children, for all the coward boys. They used to play hide and seek in the Aghasur's body. That was their favorite pastimes in Aghasur's body. Hmm? <coughs> Aghasur was, why, how was Aghasur purified? Hmm? It, Aghasur was purified because of Krishna's touch. If you remember, if you know the pastimes of Putna, Putna uh, was a demoness. What was her food? She used to eat flesh of the young children. What was her drink? She used to drink the blood. What was her association? She was associating with demons like Bakasur, Aghasur, all these demons she used to associate with. Such Putna, such demoness, when she came to Vrindavan, when she came to Krishna, she came with the intention of killing Krishna. Hmm? But she came disguised as a mother and she came to feed Krishna milk. So when Krishna saw this, he, that since Krishna thought to himself, since you are imitating to be like my mother, hmm? okay, I am pleased with that. Hmm? So you become a mother in my, in my abode. So Krishna delivered her. Hmm? And uh, when Putna took Krishna in her lap to feed Krishna milk, so by the touch of Krishna, her body was purified, completely purified. And when she was burned, it was expected that there was there could have been a, a very dirty smell coming, very uh, ugly or very unusual smell coming. But a smell of aghuru was coming from the uh, when the body of Putna was burned. And here, here also, the same thing was happening. There was no, there was no uh, order coming from the body of Aghasur, but it was a fragment, a, a unusual fragment was coming from his body. So one of our acharyas says that that Sri Krishna, <clears throat> by chanting his Sri Krishna, by chanting his name, by uh, chanting his uh, glories. We devotees, we become purified. Our hearts become purified. That same Krishna is, is in the body of Aghasur. 
we as devotees, we hear, we chant the holy name of the Lord, we hear His glories, and our existence become purified. We become pure devotees by doing that. And now that same Krishna is in the body of Agasur. So where will that sin remain? Even though it's a personification of sin, but he became sinless. <coughs> Such are the effects of Krishna consciousness. If some of if if one somehow or other becomes Krishna conscious by applying his senses in the service of the Lord. Then one will be pure, completely purified. Shunvantam <clears throat> Swakatha Krishna Punya Shravana Kirtana. That's why we have to always absorb ourselves in hearing about the transcendental pastimes of the Lord. We should always absorb ourselves in reading the pastimes of the Lord. If there is someone who is who, who is speaking, who, who is when some devotees are there, who is speaking Harikatha, then you should hear. Hmm? When there is opportunity in your life where you can speak Harikatha, then you should speak. Hmm? But if nothing is available, then read. Punya Shravana Kirtana. Simply by uh, chanting and hearing of the glorious pastimes of the Lord, one will be, uh, one will be purified. And then, Rishi Kena Rishi Kesha Sevanar Bhakti Ruchyate. Then we can engage our senses in the service of the Lord. Then this is Bhakti. Hmm? With the purified mind, we engage in the service of the Lord. So, <clears throat> Shukdev Goswami says that don't be amazed by the destination which Aghasur got. It is said that if only once remembering Krishna, if only once remembering even by force or naturally if Krishna appears to you in your mind, once in your lifetime, once if Krishna appears to you, the Supreme Personality God appears to you, then the liberation of that person is guaranteed. He will attain the supreme destination. He will be liberated. So here, the, not only Krishna, but all his associates, all the calves, everybody was in Agasu, Agasu's mouth. <laughs> so where, where is the destination that Agasur won't be delivered? So Agasur got delivered. <clears throat> Vishwanath Chakri Thakur is giving the example of Khatwang Maharaj. Khatwang Maharaj once was in heavenly planets and he was helping the demigods to fight the demons. So the battle was over and he went to the demi demigods and the demigods asked him, please, offered him to ask a boon. So he just inquired from them, how much time do I have? And the uh, demigod said, oh, you have very little time left with you. Then he said, okay, with all your power, immediately transfer me to the planet earth. Hmm? where without wasting time, no time zones problem, I just transfer him immediately to the planet earth and so they transferred immediately and uh, Khatwang Maharaj, he meditated on the lotus feet of the Lord, hmm? he fixed his mind on the lotus feet of the Lord and when the time of death came, he gave up his body, meditating on the Lord. So the associates of the Lord of Vaikuntha came and took Khatwang Maharaj and took him back to the abode of the Lord. Hmm. So, <clears throat> here, hmm. uh, the cause of Katwang Maharaj attaining the abode of the Lord is devotion. Hmm. But this is not applicable in the case of Aghasur. Hmm. This is, in, in the case of Aghasur, it is, it is a special case, it is, causeless, it is a causeless mercy hmm. that Krishna entered and he got, Krishna entered his uh, body and he got delivered. Hmm. So many demons or so many people when Krishna incarnates and it does pastimes here, so many people by coming in contact with Krishna get delivered like this. So it is not unusual. <clears throat> and then Shukadeva Goswami, when he was describing this thing, he, dis he said one more thing. Etat komarajam karma harer atma himokshanam mrityo pavandake bala drushto chara vismita vraje. <clears throat> he said, to Maharaj Parikshit, Shukde Goswami said to Maharaj Parikshit that <clears throat> this particular incident, although it happened in when Krishna was uh, around four and a half years of age, hmm, that was Kaumaram, but it was described in Vrindavan, described to his, their mothers, described to the villages of Vrindavan when Krishna was a Pogunda. Hmm. Actually, this coward boys are the first speakers of the Srimad Bhagavatam. As soon as the pastime takes place, 
they used to come home and describe it. So they were the first preachers of Srimad Bhagavatam. <laughs> this is what my Gurudev says. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Maharaj Parikshit, when he heard this from Shukdev Goswami, he was very amazed. How can this be possible? His, Maharaj Parikshit started calculating, but he was bewildered. So he prayed at the lotus feet of uh, Shukdev Goswami. He, say, he said, Oh great sage, how could things which has happened in the past are described as if it has happened today? Because every day they used to describe the, every evening they used to go and they used to describe the past times. So one fine evening they have reached their home and they described the past times that today Aghasura was delivered. But it was not today, it was one year before. So Maharaj Parish is asking to the Goswami, O greatest of the yogis, O my dear spiritual master, kindly describe me how is this happened. This is mystery and I want to know this. And hearing the question of Maharaj Parikshit, Shukadeva Goswami, he went into trance. He went into trance. Now let him remain in trance till tomorrow. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Jai Shri Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Any questions? <coughs> Again, popularity gave you so Agasura first came to Sayutya by merging in Krishna's body, and then Sarupya came in the south. No, he, he attained, it was shown that uh, it attained Sarupya. But later on, Shukdev Goswami also confirms, uh, Sayujya, but later on, Shukdev Goswami also confirms that he attained uh, Sarupya. The form, of, he got 400 form. So, immediately? Yes, form. immediately was promoted. Although he merged in the body? Yes. Merging was to show the demigods and other people that he got delivered. He entered into me, that means he got delivered. You, although, he were, although you all were fearful of him, although he was so sinful, but still, he became my associate. To show them this, uh, Krishna allowed his soul to merge into him. Hmm? That he has, now he has, uh, to show that now he has become my associate. <coughs> Prabhu. So this Lila with delivering the demons is when Krishna was on earth and not in the... No, 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 this is here, here, yeah. Uh, okay, Prabhu. Uh, you mentioned that it's enough to uh, once Think of Krishna as a grand liberation, and how is it that you then have to, make, have to take birth again? After, huh? How is it that you may have to take birth again after one lifetime of the world that you could not able to go back to Krishna as you did once, thinking about how it would liberate us? Krishna should appear in your mind once. If once it appears, <laughs> you will never forget him. It's not possible forget him. So, here uh, Krishna, uh, Shukta Goswami is telling that even if one, one is able to remember the form of the transcendental form of the Lord in his mind, hmm, somehow either by force or by some reason if the form comes in the mind, hmm, then he will be liberated. Hmm. So, what was your question? This. Well, it doesn't happen to all of us like if you accept the statement of Shukdeva Goswami, yes, but if there is still some purification remaining, that will gradually have happened by the association with the devotees and hearing Harikatha. But yes, if Krishna has appeared to you, then yes, you are, we are liberated. In one sense, we are practicing Krishna. Like, I will give you an example. <coughs> When a person is on his way to US, uh, if he, he is catch a flight from India and is going to USA, it's direct non-stop flight. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so when one is in the flight, we will say that he, that person has gone to USA, right? But actually, he is on he is on his way back to USA. Mm -hmm. He is on a non-stop flight. He will be he will reach there in some time. But what we will say? He is on his he is gone to USA. So it's like that. We are on our way to to our final destination. 
to get liberated. What is liberated? To become an associate of the Lord. If Maharaj or Mukundata Prabhu would like to comment on this. Yes, we are on the way. So from that point of view, we can say we are liberated, yes. but we are not fully liberated. Yes. We are on the way of liberation. Yes, we are on the way. That's why we give the example of the flight. Uh, yeah. Okay. यह है तो कि ये सिद्धियों से उन्होंने भगवान को प्राप्त नहीं किया है दे हैव नॉट हर क्वेश्चन इज स्पीकिंग इन हिंदी इज वेरी वेरी मच रिलेशिंग Uh, her question is that this, this us, these demons they have so many siddhis. Is this the reason for them to have? Uh, they ha- they have got Krishna. How how do they get siddhis? Oh, they also they also do tapasya of Lord. They also worship Lord Shiva, Lord Brahma. So all these demigods, they have, they they are they they have heard such these such benedictions like Hiranyakashipu did tapasya hmm? and Ravana did tapasya. So all these so all these demons they perform tapasya to get all these siddhis hmm? and why utilize they use these siddhis for sense gratification. Hmm? They want to become the lord of they want to become the boss of the material nature. Hmm? But devotees also have siddhis. Some devotees also have siddhis, but they use in Krishna's seva. Hmm? Ramanujachari had four disciples who had very unusual siddhis, but all was u- utilized in the service of the Lord. Yes. Hmm. भगवान भगवान के हाथों से यदि किसी की मृत्यु होती है तो उसका उधार ही समझना चाहिए और लिखने वाले ने लिखा होगा लेकिन भगवान के हाथों से यदि किसी की मृत्यु होती है तो उसका उधार ही होता है हाँ हर एक किसी न किसी का बैकग्राउंड होता ही है ना भगवान ने उधारी किया है उनका कृष्णा हैज डिलीवर्ड अघासुर इट इज हिज कॉजलेस मर्सी ऑन अघासुर पूतना ऑल्सो वॉज कॉजलेस मर्सी अघासुर डिड नॉट अटेंड द ब्रज ब्रज लीला ही वेंट टू वाइकुंठा बिकॉज ही हैड नो Yes, Aghasur, Bakasur and Putna, they are all brothers and sisters. But I am saying that Aghasur did not attain Brajbhumi. Or the, he didn't enter into eternal pastimes of the Lord. Hmm? He attained uh, uh, Vaikuntha, Vaikuntha. But amongst that also, Putna is a very special case. Hmm? Putna became a mother in Goloka Vrindavan. She is under Mother Yashoda. Hmm? She is assisting Mother Yashoda in the service of Lord Krishna. Hmm? So, any other questions, Mataji? Yeah, is there something uh, known what Agastya was in his life before? It's not known, just how possible, you know, the fact that he 
let's see if things come in the ahead. I don't think, I, I have not researched on that part. So, uh, please forgive me for this. Bhakti Vinod Thakur in his book Krishna Samhita, he has mentioned all those things. If you want to read, then you can read Krishna Samhita. So, with this some relationship, like a shaka, dasha, hmm? uh, basana, any kind of dasha, yes. they will not, they will become united and they will not get any birth and death. Yeah. So, but um, such kind of demon, uh, they don't have any rush, any, any, any kind of you know, or only lord. But uh, such demon, they become the. Uh, causeless mercy, you are saying, it's causeless mercy of the lord. In the, when the Mahabharata war was going on, <clears throat> at that time, 64 crore people were in front of each other. And that is the only war where all of them, they got the abode of the Lord. Because everybody was leaving their body in front of Krishna. So our Acharyas say that in the Mahabharata war, those who died, they went to the abode of the Lord. Because they gave up their days to see, they were, they were, they were seeing the Lord and uh, some of them uh, were killed by the Lord, not killed by the devotees of the Lord, but more everybody in that war went to the abode of the Lord. So this is the causeless mercy of the Lord. Normally in the war when somebody dies, he goes to the heavenly planets. But this was a very special war. Everybody went to the abode of the Lord. So it is also, such so it is also something because everyone doing something special service, like the Putana as a family as a mother to, to give service to the to Krishna as a mother attraction. <coughs> some other Agasura also coming to give him some pleasure for the Agasura Agasur gave pleasure to the Lord after he left his body. His body was been used by the devotees, by, by the Lord and his devotees as a playground. So yes, he did uh, he came in an unfavorable situation, but when he left his body, then his body was been served, so that became favorable. Hmm? So that was his, uh, his body was used for the service of the Lord later. Because he was willing hey, to give some illusory, illusory energy, so that the hands uh, uh, of uh, our boy was attracted or suspended. Uh, suspended on his uh, uh, the energy or the illusory energy of this, how he attracts to them. Mm. Because it is also one kind of uh, giving some pleasure to them also. Uh, so, is it somehow or others, if uh, to give pleasure to Lord or his devotees, it is also sounds to have some special mercy? <laughs> yes. Yes, you have one understanding. <coughs> That's nice. But our Acharya said that he, he, his body was utilized in the service of the Lord after he gave up his body. <laughs> hmm? Before, uh, yes, Prabhu wants to comment something. Well, there was one actually, this, this, there is Purana that, for example, many of the demons in Krishna Lila, of course, some of them, they were actually uh, also sages before. And they were performing austerities and they were trying to make advancement in their life. But then some of them they were cursing each other. Yes. You should become a yes. class, you should become a yes. like Ka Kaliya, for example. Yeah. And then they were also taking these forms. Yeah. And the, but because they were doing some uh, spiritual activities also, then they had the opportunity to take part in the in the laws of Lila, in the forms of demons. Yes. Even if it is explained that uh, that when the, uh, the demigods they went to see Krishna, uh, they wanted to, uh, no, they went to Brahma, and they were saying that there are so many difficulties now, please, we have to do something. And then Brahma and all the demigods went to the shore of the lake ocean, and then he was meditating, and uh, so on the Supreme Lord, and then uh, so that he heard the message, that this transcendental message, uh, and the revelation that, that, uh, that, uh, that how we come to this world, and then he was saying also that the Demi-Gods, they should also come, 
Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. <laughs> Unlimited. Yes, it's here we have here we are discussing especially from the purpose of Srila Prabhupada and little here and there we are taking some help from other Acharyas Prabhu, as like Prabhu said, yes, Srimad Bhagavatam, we have 12, 12 or 15 tikas in Sanskrit. <coughs> On one verse of Bhagavatam, we have 15 tikas. In, we have a book called Astacharya Tika where so many uh, Acharyas, even Gaudiya Vaishnava Acharyas, they have given their commentaries. And it will take so many birds <laughs> if we simply want to discuss this pastimes. Uh, but we have limited time, three days for Brahma Bhima and Leela is injustice actually. <laughs> so it's seven days uh, subject matter. We are, we are not going to discuss uh, the prayers by Lord Brahma because of the time. Uh, so we have what a little time we have and uh, we are sticking to Srila Prabhupada's purport as much as possible so that when the devotees when they read they will be able to relate what, what they have heard. <clears throat> Any other questions? Granthrashmad Bhagavatam ki jai samaveta gaurabhaktavrinda ki jai.